We've been talking about ukus, but I want you to sit back and watch some uku footage while I introduce you to something that the Interpack competitors have come to know and hate called story time. Yeah, I think history has proven that America isn't afraid of a fight. But the bravest warriors may have been the first ones here, the Native Americans. Uh, one tribe which proved their toughness to Custer, his cavalry, and I guess the whole world, was the Lakota. Uh, sometimes they were compelled to fight to protect their land or their people, uh, but other times they went looking for a fight. Courage was among the most respected traits in their culture, and there was no place like the battlefield to see who had it. Um, when the Lakota went into battle, the most honorable accomplishment wasn't necessarily to kill the most enemies, but to touch a living enemy and get away unharmed. Well, since then, times have changed, and suffice to say, warfare has escalated a bit, um, but so has sport. And one particular Lakota man took his bravery on what he considered a sacred and spiritual quest to honor himself, his people, and his nation at the Olympics. His goal was to win gold at the 10K, which would require running a time significantly faster than he had ever been capable of, uh, and also overcoming his diabetes. Uh, no one had ever even heard of this guy. It would be like if I said I was going to win the freediving championship, even though um, the top guys dive twice as deep as me. Well, setting a goal is a good start, but think about the Lakota Warriors again. Having the goal of touching your enemy in battle is quite a bit different than actually touching someone who's trying to kill you. And back to the Olympics with 99% of the race over, our Lakota Olympian was still trailing. But I'll let Billy Mills himself take over the story, courtesy of a video from Running for American Indians Youth. 120 meters to go. I'm 10 to 12 yards behind. It was like, now, I've got to go now. Lifting my knees, pumping my arms. As I go by him, my arms are like this, and I look, and he's like this, and I saw an eagle in his jersey. <laughs> it was so powerful, it was like, whoa, wings of an eagle. I can win, I can win, I can win. Look at Mills, look at Mills! What a comeback and surprise here! Bill Mills, the United States, wins the 10,000 meters! So, why am I telling you this story? It's a lot of people don't understand spearfishing competitions. There are always accusations, usually by people that have never had anything to do with a tournament, that competitors are out there slaying fish for personal glory. But I'll let Billy Mills also respond to that. They were all saying to me to honor myself so I could honor my tribal nation. And if I honored my tribal nation, I'd honor the United States of America and help make the world a better place. And that fit into the most powerful prayer of, of the Lakota, that we are all related. So I wanted to give back. You don't just show up and win. Just as the Lakota didn't just easily ride up and touch an enemy in battle. Billy Mills said it was the pursuit of a dream that heals broken souls, not the glory of accomplishment. A trophy, like a feather earned by a warrior, is a representation of something greater than self. The Interpac Trophy is a nod to self-sacrifice, teamwork, discipline, um, and a lot of personal struggle. The pursuit of this trophy is an opportunity to move towards self-actualization, and it's a chance for the community to win a Billy Mills. 